Shocking news out of Iran. Three men who took part in anti-government protests last year have been executed. The regime says the men were implicated in the death of security forces, a claim that's been disputed by human rights groups. Liberal Senator David Van is calling on the Albanese government, gosh, they're going to be busy, to stand up to Iran. He joins me from Melbourne now. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for your time. Why have you taken a particular interest in this case? Oh, hi, Erin. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, as I've done with Ukraine and, and China, like I'm in my position as a senator for Victoria, I'm going to stand up against authoritarian regimes. I'm going to stand up for free speech for everyone, and especially if it's going to lead to state-sanctioned killing. Um, I'll be there being the voice of those people. What's been the response from our government and what can they realistically do? Well, silence has been deafening. I mean, there's been a handful of, uh, of sanctions against uh, a few organisations and a few people, um, and then they're just sitting on their hands. Uh, they keep on saying that their advice is that it's not legal to sanction um, or to list the IRGC as a terrorist organisation, yet they are the government. They can change the legislation uh, to make it possible to do so. And I'm sure that they would get bipartisan support on that. So there's nothing that they, they can't do to fix this. And listing the IRGC, a terrorist organisation who's killing their own people, who are harassing people here in Australia, who are participating in protests, that are, and I've spoken at just about every one of them, and we really need to get these people out of here we really need them to be listed as a terrorist organisation. Um, and that way, you know, shut down their organisation, shut down their, their cash flow. Um, they, they truly are horrible and need to be um, banned from Australia. Senator, it, it is incredible, isn't it, when you look at the kind of atrocities that occur in a country like Iran. I, I lived in Indonesia for seven years during 1998 mm. when the Suharto regime fell and to watch a country essentially take to the streets and fight for democracy. At a young age, I was afforded, I guess, an opportunity to appreciate what we have here in Australia. Most kids have no idea they are alive in this country, do they? I mean, how blessed are we? Uh, I mean, we are truly blessed. You know, we have the right to free speech. You know, every weekend, just about, you know, there's an Iranian rally or a Ukraine rally or lots of other different rallies on different topics. Um, you know, and for the most part, you know, when people are peaceful, they're allowed to protest uh, um, and just get on with it and have their voice heard. So for an authoritarian regime like in Tehran, you know, to then be killing people for standing up for people who have been murdered by their, um, their security organisation, um, you know, we all have to take a stand against that. And, you know, I've called on uh, Foreign Minister Senator Wong to do more. Um, We'll, uh, she'll be before us in estimates next week. Uh, so rest assured, I'm going to be asking lots of questions about exactly why they can't uh, list the IRGC as a terrorist organisation. It should be very simple for them to do. Yeah, I would have thought so. Uh, just quickly before I let you go, I know that you were in Ukraine, I think, last year. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott is there now and he's addressed a security forum criticising the Albanese government for failing to deliver new aid to the country, the war-torn country. Uh, what more do you think they should do? I know that our government has done a fair bit. A lot of Bushmasters I know have gone over. Yeah. Um, well, when we were in government, we certainly did a lot. Uh, when I was uh, in Donbass in August last year, uh, only 38 of the Bushmasters out of the 90 that had been promised were actually in country. Uh, as far as I'm aware, and I'm hoping to have it confirmed over the weekend by some of my uh, Ukrainian parliamentarian friends, what number is actually in there now. I still don't think that the Albanese government have delivered all the 90 they promised. You know, and now... Uh, President Zelensky is asking for the Hawkeyes. There is no reason why they can't go over there. Uh, you know, this excuse about the problem with the ABS braking system um, is is just a, a, a lie because you know you don't need ABS when you you know uh, scooting across a battlefield. Mm. Now I've seen their soldiers in action. They are brave. They'll fix any problem. They're resilient. They'll make sure that they can use these vehicles in the best possible way. So. I, I'm just 
flabbergasted and embarrassed um, for, on behalf of all Australians that the Albanese government has just basically abandoned Ukraine. Oh, they're strong words, Senator. Uh, David Van, thank you very much for your time tonight. Really appreciate it.